place. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just didn't realize you two were down here. It's okay, it's okay. We don't mind, do we, Miguel? Are you kidding? <laughs> I want to shout it out from every room. <laughs> we're back together, Mrs. Bennett. Uh, and this time, it's for good. Now, Mrs. Bennett, I don't want you to worry, okay? I am going to take complete responsibility for Kay and her baby. Our, our baby. You know, I'm not going to shy away from taking care of them. Oh, no, I know you'd never do that. Well, you know, Chief Bennett was really mad at me for getting Kay pregnant, and I don't blame him. Miguel, you know, he's but... Kay's father. It was a gut reaction. And believe me, he's never for a minute doubted what kind of a decent young man you are. He knows that you're going to do the right thing by Kay and the baby that you're going to share together. So then Charity and I have your blessing? Oh, yes, of course, you always have. I'm just so glad you found your way back together. Oh, uh, really, Aunt Grace? You don't think I'm being selfish? Selfish? Charity, you are just like your mother. You don't have a selfish bone in your body. But I want you two to promise me something. You will never let anything or anyone come between you because life is too short and love is too precious. <laughs> um, does Kay know about this? Yeah, she knows. All right, well, let's just hope she accepts the inevitable then. But, you know, you really don't have to worry about Kay. Because Sam and I will be there to help her out when the baby comes. I know my mom will help, too. Yeah. Well, and our first priority, of course, is the baby. But we want to make sure that you stay in school. Okay? you got to get a good job. Because I'm sure when you two get married, you're going to have other children that you have to look after, too. <laughs> How dare she stand there and help them plan for their future? <laughs> well, it looks like everything is back on track. At least for you two, anyway. You know, maybe you two are proof that love can overcome even what seems to be insurmountable problems. We have a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mother. Hey, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, like that would have made a difference. You're not the least bit guilty of taking Charity's side over mine. Kay. No, Charity, I'll, I'll talk to Kay. Yeah. You have to say to me, I really don't want to hear it, Mom. Well, you know what, Kay? That's too bad, because you're going to hear it. Look, I, I am not going to let you ruin Charity and Miguel's happiness. They're together because they're supposed to be. You know, you have a really screwed up definition of supposed to be, because I am the one who was pregnant with his baby. Or do you want it to be born a bastard? Kay, you're not to use that language. Oh, why not? House. That's what my baby's going to be, Mom. And you know what? It will be your fault. Well, better a child born out of wedlock than in a loveless marriage. Miguel would love me if you and Charity hadn't been butting your nose in where it doesn't belong. You know, I might have actually had a shot at happiness with him. But that's the last thing you care about, right? I mean, you'd rather fawn all over your niece than, than support your daughter. And I'm the one who needs help, Mom. You know, don't bother feeling conflicted anymore. Because you've made your choice, and now I'm going to make mine. I was actually thinking about coming home when I got closer to my due date, but I'm not going to anymore, Mom, because I don't want to be kicked around by you. I'm never coming home again. Well, I don't know how to reach her. It seems like every time I see her, I just make things worse. It's not your fault, Mrs. Bennett. And if anyone's to blame, to me. No, no, Miguel, you and Charity are doing the right thing. And, and Tabitha, I'm so grateful to you. I mean, with you taking her in, at least she's nearby instead of someplace far away. Oh, it's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me over the years. But don't let Kay upset you. Girls her age, especially in her delicate condition, are prone to fits of emotion. She'll come to her senses eventually. Yeah, I hope so. I'll, I'll go and check up on her. I feel terrible. None of this would be happening with you and Kay if it weren't for me. No, sweetie, don't even think it, okay? Like I told Miguel, this is not his fault, it's not your fault. Look, all you guys did was fall in love. You just want to be together the rest of your lives. And that's what you should do.
about Kay? Well, you know, Kay is my daughter, and we've always been close, except for the last year or so. So I have no doubt that we're going to be able to overcome these problems. You know, I know that deep down, Kay loves me as much as I love her. 